time you declare independence on a land that is stolen, that in itself is an act of white supremacy. Before there were any governments, any centralized power structures, we were all human beings on this earth. Hip hop groups like Public Enemy and BDP who talked about, because I'm a black man and I could never be a veteran, and all I seen that with my people listening to hip hop and me liking hip hop too, and we're like, we have to do that for our peeps. You know, they have to understand that you know we're native. Music is art. You know, all these different mediums that can be as a vehicle to really work towards towards social change. You know, in their communities, and I really feel that um, their uh, their madness that they've created is going to like flip all the way around. <laughs> to the community the, the understanding of Aslan. And during that time in learning about the oral history of like uh, Quetzalcoatl and um, and about how he became Sholo, thus became the morning star of the, of the Venus. During that time he was in complete madness. To us we still feel pretty much in in darkness so like uh, that's why it was Aslan underground. That was underground but it was going to rise up again. It's about our youth or about our future you know about about these raising these questions and, and, and really coming back to knowing and loving themselves. We hope to plant a seed of resistance worldwide, you know, that we have to reclaim Earth Mother in a way where we balance, live in balance and respect for nature and all humanity. Art is that weapon for change, art is a weapon, art is a bridge, art, uh, music can be a bridge to uh, understanding worldwide and I think that's what we if anything we've done.